You're listening to the Chronicles of Living Podcast, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. Now let's talk. Greetings, my social media family. Today is a crazy day for me because this is actually my second ta- uh, taping tonight. <laughs> As I said, I'm learning about Facebook and one thing I learned tonight is if you go live, don't delete. If you think you got a double post, I thought I had a double post and I want to delete it and I deleted the video <laughs> that I did. <laughs> And um, I sat there for a minute. I'm not going to lie. I sat there. And the video was like 20 minutes that I did prior to this for y'all tonight. I really sat there. I had to, I had to talk to myself. I'm not going to lie. I had to have a conversation with myself and say, Hey, Dion, it's not about you. It's about all your family out there that's watching that you committed to for this 30-day challenge of going live. So, I got myself together, got my thoughts together. I'm going to talk about a different topic. I'll bring that topic up another time. So, today's topic is, what did I say the topic was? Because <laughs> I kind of created it on the fly. I was just so distraught. Um, today's topic is, your tests and your trials create the person you are today. Now, I think that's a good topic. Let's 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 really break that whole thing down because it's so, so true. And for those who don't know me, I am Adion. I am your lifeguard saving you from drowning in life and the world and yourself getting in your own way. And this is Chronicles of Living. So let's get started. I'm going to make this quick. I always say that. Then I look at the time on the videos and it's like, uh, yeah, long. Anyway, you're testing your trials. They create who you are. They build your character. They build strength in you. Uh, They make you see what you're truly made of, you know. And if you ever notice that if there is something that you have to get stronger at uh, within yourself, you'll wind up repeating the same test and the same trial over and over again. And you'll, you'll ask yourself, like, why? I just went through this last year like me. Moving. <laughs> I moved. Like I said before, for those who don't know, if you're just watching this video, I have moved over 20 something times in my life and I had just that many jobs. OK, and I will break them down one day. But uh, through me moving so much through me, um, the different jobs that I've had, I definitely can attest to trials and tribulations Create in the person that you are because I have, you know, I was raised in the hood, as they say, but you know, I've been in the corporate world working, so I've seen both sides of the fence. I am bilingual, yes, I am. I can relate to, you know, the hood and the corporate world, yes, I can. I could talk your language, I have been there. I'm sure I can relate to each and every last one of y'all struggles, if not even more. You probably out there saying, nah, no, you can't, AD. I know you can't. No, yes, I can. I have been without gas on, without electric, without water. I have um, been without a house, without a car, um, been through bad relationships. I mean, for real, I, I've been through it. Trust me when I say I've been through uh, using water jugs to to wash up, to to wash dishes and things of that nature. And I actually I actually videotaped it to make it fun um, because I'm one of those people that always try to look on the positive side of everything. And this is why I'm doing this these live uh, videos and being consistent because I really am. I feel like something is crawling on my face. I know that's probably just sweat. I'm hot, y'all. Um, I, I can't turn the air on because it makes too much noise. I'm really sweating for y'all. Um, 
this is crazy. I'm just reflecting right now that I just got finished a whole video and deleted it by mistake. <laughs> I love y'all. I really do. I'm really showing you how to be persistent and dedicated. And I pray by the end of these 30 days that I have touched some hearts out there. I've touched some people out there to go ahead and pursue their dreams and their visions and do it with persistence and dedication because that is what this is all about. I'm really I, I'm your dream pusher. OK, that's what I am. So, yeah, back to the topic at hand. You know, when you go through hardships, each time you go through them, um, if you're anything like me, you don't want to go through them no more. So you start thinking outside the box, you know, and how to get around this situation if you stay positive And if you just because this is the thing I learned when things go wrong and you react in a way of. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And call all your friends up. I'm sorry, y'all. It's something on my face. It's a piece of hair, I guess. Call your friends up and, and tell the story over and over again of how, you know, your electric got cut off. You don't have the money or, you know, this guy did you wrong. This girl did you wrong. You keep repeating that story over and over again. You... You're basically stopping your own healing. You're stopping... What is supposed to come to you next? What you supposed to learn from it to grow from it? You know? And um, if you just knew, if you just knew, and I will reveal some of the things that happened in my life to make me feel that I can talk to you and encourage you. So it is real. You know, it, it really builds your character. And now my connection is weak. So that means that it's going to get fuzzy. I don't know what's going on tonight, y'all. But I'm here to tell y'all, this is what dedication is about. This is what not making excuses. You just get the job done. So I'm sorry if it's a little fuzzy, but the, the thing came up that the connection is weak. Okay. But anyway, let me just wrap this up. I'm just I just want to tell y'all 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 just I mean I'm kind of rambling because of the fact that I'm still not over it. I deleted the whole video. I'm really not over that, but I really hope that me doing it again no matter what it is one o'clock in the morning. But me taking the time to do it over, um, that this shows y'all like what it's about and with it whatever you have in your life, whatever trials, whatever tribulations that you're going through right now. I hope that this will give you the strength to push through, push through. That's what it's about. You got to push through because at the end of the day, who's going to get it done? You got to do your part. And if you're a team, if you married or just a couple or whatever like that, I mean, don't rely on just the one on your spouse to push through. Do your part. You push through, too, because basically when you go through trials and tribulations, brothers, Apart or rather is with someone. When you push through individually, you grow. If you let the other person push through for y'all, how will you ever grow? How will you ever learn? How will you ever gain strength and build your character? So do your part and push through. And write down the things. I keep saying this. It's so powerful if you write down what you learn. From any given situations, rather you get fired from your job, laid off, you lose your house, um, you lose your car. Just write down and just be grateful for what you have. That is the most important thing in life. Well, outside of time, because I talked to you about your time. But being grateful and, and, and showing thanks for what you have and focusing on that is what will get you through. Because that's what I've always done. If if my water was off, then I focus on the fact that, oh, okay, I got some electric. I, I can I can heat up some water to take a bath. You hear what I'm saying? If if my electric went off, guess what? I had flashlights. I had candles. We just ate by candlelight every night, you know, until I got it back on. It, it was about a week, but shoot, a week is a long time. I mean, my food went bad in the refrigerator, but guess what? We was... Eating peanut butter and jelly, tuna fish, you know, things that, you know, bologna. I mean, not bologna because I don't eat bologna, but turkey sandwiches. 
I mean, you can create a, a good reality for yourself through the struggles. I mean, when our electric went off, we not only ate by candlelight, we played games. Me and my son, when he came from school, I had the little board games. So he didn't realize, like, okay, this is really, really bad. I mean, he knew, okay, the lights are not on, mom, what's up? But I made it fun. I made it fun. And that's what you got to learn to do when, you, when you're when facing your trials. You, you got to figure out a way to, to outsmart it, to beat it. And still stay sane and still think and, and, and work out a way. You always got to think outside the box. Because as I always say, life happens. Life happens every day in different ways. You just have to outsmart it. You have to outthink the situation. You have to keep your composure. Because when you lose your composure... You will never think of a way out and it just will keep getting worse and worse and worse. So I say all that to say I am a better person because I feel like my character, I'm so happy in my life right now. I'm always a happy person. I always try to keep it positive. But as I said, I've been through many trials and tribulations. Just the whole moving along, that's drama. But I always... End up with furniture. I always, I mean, I, I never lacked. I never lacked in those moves, you know, like I all God always put us in a nice area, nice place, you know. And I'll tell you all one time I, I wound up not having a place to go at all for a whole month. And I'll tell you all about that story because I know that's going to be a deep topic. I'll tell you all about that. But I just want you all to know I can relate. I really can relate and I'm not coming on these videos being all positive and because I, I had a perfect life. No, I'm coming on here because I really want to encourage people and um, the signal is getting weak again. So I'm going in this one. But just remember, find a positive in everything. And I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I was trying to keep my uh, spirits up and work through it because of the fact that I had already took the time out to make a whole video and I deleted it. And I actually thought that was a good video. I thought it was very encouraging, but I will get on that topic at another day. But I hope that this topic that I chose encouraged somebody out there. And I apologize for the fuzziness because the connection keeps going weak. So until tomorrow, this is my seventh day, y'all. I made it through. Deuces. I love y'all. Peace. Thank you for listening to Chronicles of Living, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. And if you are pursuing your dreams, I'm proud of you. Because the best part of life is when you decide to live. To keep up with us, please visit chroniclesofliving.com. Until next time, this is Adion, your dream pusher. I love you guys.